You don't need much water because all you're gonna do is pour it over your cochineal. So I am going to pour that in right now. I'm gonna do 10 grams and 10 grams honestly is a ton of cochineal for how much I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do like three swaddles. So that's a lot, but it will be a super rich, pretty color. Okay, so the water is boiling. Once it gets to this point, you're gonna pour it in to your uh, container you have here with the cochineal in it. You are going to let it sit overnight covered. Okay, so I just poured some boiling water in there and I'm just gonna cover it like this with the lid. So it's just like that and I'll just leave that overnight. All right, I'm boiling a big old pot of water. This is what I let sit overnight. You can see it's a nice rich color. Um, you can filter it. Sorry about that noise. Leo, if you break those pots, hey, please stop with those. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I legit don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, you can filter this if you would like. If you're trying to get an even color, then definitely filter these. Hi. Uh, use some sort of like coffee filter or something before you pour it in. I don't super care because I'm tie-dyeing anyway. Leo, please don't touch that. Alrighty, so my water is a boiling. I'm going to pour this baby in. Such a cool color. Alright. And I kind of go like this, make sure I get it all out. Okay, now. I've also already folded all of these. I'm gonna do a video how I fold the different folds I use. And um, I've got them all wet already, so they're ready to go right in the dye pot. So I just stick her in. You can already see such a rich color. I am going to be leaving. So I'm gonna put this on low. You can just turn the heat all the way off. Hi again. What did you find? Mom's sewing stuff? Oh, that's awesome. You can just turn it all the way off, but it would need to sit for overnight, and I want to pull these out at noon. So I'm gonna leave it on low for about four hours. 